How many times have you fought Data Roxas in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix? One time? Five times? Ten? Twenty? Well, these two guys have fought him, collectively, over 500 times. Meet Kite and Lazy Afternoons, two YouTubers dedicated to fighting Data Roxas every single day. <laughs> yeah, every day. How? Why? What would compel someone to do this? Those were my questions, and after watching their phenomenal video shorts and skills on display, I knew I had to get my questions answered. So, about a month ago, I decided to call them up and ask. I believe Kite, you you started the the daily fight, right? With Roxas. Yes. Yeah. What what inspired that that idea? Um, actually, the thing that me inspired me was a little bit tricky. I say, I did that fight already long, long time ago on PlayStation yeah. Two on the original Japanese version of the game, but <laughs> I never had anything to capture that. But after I got the PC versions in my hand with mods and all the stuff, I just thought, I like Roxas. I'm waiting for Kingdom Hearts on Steam because it's my favorite platform actually. Mm -hmm. And for Kingdom Hearts 4 and waiting for Missing Link. So I have three options to wait for it. And the Roxas fight is my favorite fun uh, fight. It's fun, it's challenging. More or less, if you can do it, then it's pretty easy, I know. Yeah. But I was not really good, so... If you see my very first Daily Roxas fight, you would say, Holy damn, he's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it really took a little bit of time. So, the fight actually is just to getting better in this fight. Really, really good at this fight. And to wait for Kingdom Hearts 4, Missing Link, and Kingdom Hearts getting on Steam. Nice. Um... So how many how many days have you have you fought Roxas then? Oh. Right now I'm at episode two hundred eighty six I think. Tomorrow one more. Right. <laughs> I do every two weeks a fight, uh, fourteen fights. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so because if I die or so, uh, die or something, if I get sick or something, <laughs> or the work is too much, or my computer breaks or something, I can actually upload every day a video so everyone everyone can enjoy it. Well, fair enough. What's what's the fastest you've ever beaten Roxas? I literally have the world record. Oh, really? <laughs> holy crap! <laughs> my time is actually 80 seconds and 27 milliseconds. Wow, that's fast. That's really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. In the Data Roxas fight. Mm -hmm. I don't have the world record on the normal Story Roxas fight, but I want that. But I don't know what the world record is, so no. I have to wait a little bit. Gotcha. I'm going to change gears a little bit, just switch it up. How did you guys meet? You and Lazy. Okay, that's actually pretty exciting. I think he just dropped a comment on my video, I guess, and then I just reached out to him. And from there on, we are just talking most likely, you know, two or three days a week. So until then, so from now on, maybe like six or seven months ago, I would say. Yeah, and much. yeah, we just because uh, the opportunity here is that there are not many German Kingdom Hearts YouTubers out there, and I think that's a perfect opportunity to grow together. Because why doing this all all by yourself when you can do and share the experience uh, together? When you started doing the Roxas fight, were you inspired by Kite? to start doing it yes i was <laughs> was, it, was it did you want to do it as like um like working together making the connections or just like a challenge like i'm gonna get the world record and he came back oh i'm gonna get the world record no i'm gonna get uh, no 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 no, no. <laughs> no. Um, 
Actually, no, there was, at some point I was just seeing that he's doing uh, his daily daily Roxas fight because I had actually, like like he, like Kite has, the same experience. Mm -hmm. So I also had this experience playing Final Mix on the PlayStation 2 and I thought it would, would be just funny to do it because I uh, actually never uploaded uh, something on YouTube uh, and want to do this with Missing Link and there's i thought there's no better way to do this with a daily roxas fight because he's doing the same <laughs> and maybe it's because the same passion what drives the fight with roxas itself because there was no actually a fight in the original one mm -hmm. so that's a special fight for everyone who loves the series especially cage too yeah no that's that's true i remember First time I played uh, the final mix version, and I was like, "Wait a minute! There wasn't a fight here before. What's going on?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Follow up question then: What inspired going into Missing Link? Is it because you really liked Union Cross? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, yes, I did. I don't. I adored uh, Union Cross. I was actually playing this game every day, maybe maybe for like six hours. Was actually in the top unions and Unicorn there on the first for the first party. I also have my still my records on my different phone. But I also have a personal link to this game itself because the first letters of Missing Link also matches mine. So there's there will always be a special connection to this game, I guess, because they're my initials too. <laughs> gotcha. Lazy, how many days in a row have you fought Roxas at this point? Uh, I shouldn't it be now on day 198 actually. 198? Almost at 200. Nice. <laughs> yeah, almost 200. It's mm -hmm. actually pretty insane that I never thought this would be so fast. Shoot, I just had my next question ready. Brain, why do you do this? Okay. Uh, how many... How many hours do you think you've each spent fighting Roxas? <laughs> <laughs> A little oh. bit too much, a little maybe. Bit too much. I mean, Roxas will be always a part of me. I love him so much. And um, the first time I fighted him was 27. I fighted him every day, lots of hours, all the time, because I loved it. And then the PlayStation 3 versions come out. Mm. And I played again for so many hours and days and literally months mm -hmm. and then the ps4 version comes out <laughs> and then i drew it again and then the pc version came out also i would say um i have around i think up to date maybe seven thousand hours in kingdom hearts 2 itself and literally 30 mm percent -hmm. of that is only fighting Roxas. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of time. So I have recently seen that my PlayStation 5 is telling me that I have played only about in two years since I have this console, played only Cage 2 for 1000 hours. Okay, all right. So when you're thinking about that Cage 2 came out maybe 18 years, 19 years ago, I don't want to lie, but I would also say maybe even 7,000 plus. Plus? Yeah, you, yeah, can, you can definitely. Guess. You can guess, it's alright. I don't expect <laughs> yeah, you maybe. to know. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't actually tell the number here, for example, but I would say that's an actually pretty recent number. So I'm playing this game for almost two decades every day. Yeah. Every day. So it's it's a lot of hours. And that's also that's also there that's also counting the PlayStation 2, the Japanese version, the English version, the German version, the vanilla version, the final mix version, all of them. Mm -hmm. Across every platform there's an accessible way to play this game. So that's an actually pretty good number, I would say. Yeah. You guys have spent so much time fighting Roxas. What? are some of the unconventional ways you can beat him. Like some of the weird, out there, bizarre ways people wouldn't think of. I literally mm. have um, around 30, 35 unique ways to beat Roxas so far. Mm. Some of them with mods or with some cheat codes like Final Form Sora against him or Baylor Form. But there are some unique ways they probably a little bit convenient. I beat Roxas um, 
One time with only the first Santetsu counter of the limit form. Only the what? first one. Uh -huh. It was more like a time race against uh, Roxas. And yeah, that was some way. Or I just beat at him. In, in that way, I just go with his Keyblade and just sprint against him all the time. All the time for minutes straight. The uh, negative combo minus is also a way to kill him. Or I beat it, uh, beat it him uh, um, with Berserk Charge. Ooh, Only with Berserk Charge, charge insane. in mm -hmm. all the time. It was pretty awesome. It was great, but it hurt my thumb so much. <laughs> <laughs> so I have also some persons who ask about doing Roxas with only magic based attacks. But um, I have tried to do this, but for me it's actually finding ways where the frames allow me to deal damage to Roxas, because that, that's important to me. From my personal experience is trying to find cool ways or in a stylish way, but not doing actually challenges itself. I'm just trying to do this more like entertainable. Do you have tips for anyone who might be like really beginning into Roxas and is, is struggling hard? Anything that could help them like beat him easier? First of all, doing this on beginner. <laughs> well, let's say they're let's say they're stuck that's on the <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty uh, important, I would say. So my girlfriend was also playing this game and I had an experience where I was able to play this game on beginner because I'm not doing this. I was always the one who was also picking the most difficult uh, difficulty to choose. When it comes to new newcomers, what's actually pretty insane to see just study the fight calmly and try find or trying find ways to engage with it mm. i would say and at some point it just it just comes depends on the fighting style itself or even rng gotcha so study the fight study the fight basically yeah learn it yeah that's the most important one studying the fight and just not got anxious and try it yeah. over and over again so yeah, my tip actually would be nearly the same like Lazy's too. I would say if you fight for the very first time Roxas, it's not that hard actually. If you opening the game, the start, with the flag, it's always fine. Then lock on. And every time he attacks you with everything, just look closely what he's doing. If he's getting behind you or before you, Try to block actually with your Keyblade, maybe two times. If either way, you can block one of his attacks all the time. And then maybe the best advice I can give about that. Those were, those were really good tips. Um, I think that's, I'm gonna try some of that actually. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't block. I don't block in KH2. I'm just really bad at it. I'm just reflex spamming all the time. <laughs> Um, all right, so that's pretty much all the questions I got. Um, where, what social medias can people find you guys on? Yeah, we actually started to own uh, our own Discord server to get many people connected, also for other streamers or YouTubers in the Kingdom Hearts scene. I'm. Uh, you can find me also only on YouTube. Actually, I don't do anything else. Yeah. Lazy. What <laughs> other What other places, Jan? Uh, I, I think you're on Instagram and stuff, right? I'm also. Yeah. You can also find all the information where on social media uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, there's Instagram linked. I'm also there on TikTok itself. Yeah. <laughs> well, sweet. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me with this. Um, I really always appreciate really it. Appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity, Nick. <laughs> it was really fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. But yeah, thank you so much again, and I will catch you guys later. Okay, cool people. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Goodbye.